Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Today we are going to be talking about the Travis Styles knife made by Travis Styles, a broken compass knives. This is his Minuteman model. They built this one exclusively for me based on my design specs. You can see the amazing detail in this thing and you can actually even see a little bit of meat still on there. Um, I have used this now to work two deer and uh but this knife has been absolutely incredible and what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of talk about the where why what and how of this knife and his amazing just awesome awesome knives look at that patina that's forming on here naturally um just incredible blade designs just an incredible knife and we're gonna talk for a quick second about it so um now those of you guys that know me know that i love travis styles knives i'm up here in northern michigan i just pulled in here because i thought it'd be nice and shady area to do this video and well, look at somebody left they bailed and they left the campfire burning on a pretty breezy day so we are going to either see if we can get that fully out ourselves if not i'm going to call the dnr and let them know um but you know just, just idiots you know this is a pretty common campsite and they left that fire right there cooking away pretty good and uh, they're gone. They're completely gone. So like I said, we're going to try and take care of that ourselves here too. If we can't, we will call the DNR to come and get that put out. Uh, but just stupid what people do. But anyway, so um, Travis has made me now five knives. from bro You know, this was even before he was bro broken compass knives. Travis Styles knives. I've done other video reviews on him on this channel. His stuff is absolutely incredible. Um, and uh, I have one of his models here. I have the Hiker model, which is one of his first ones he ever um made for or a second one he made for me he made is a set of three right here we'll scoot this one over a sec here on this little stump and we'll pull this out and step on that case now this one i have set up as a neck model and i wear this one i'm pressure washing all the time this one right here it's always on my neck when I'm pressure washing. And uh, this thing has been subjected to massive amounts of pool shock, muriatic acids, uh, um, oxalic acids, um, all kinds of cleaning agents, everything worn around my neck. The thing is just incredible. Okay, these knives are just amazing. Um, fantastic design and very similar, if you look at it, very similar in size to that Minuteman. But what I wanted, um, I love this knife, but I wanted something that was also a little closer to my Bradford Guardian here, okay, was what I was after. So we take this one out, and there's a Bradford Guardian 3. So you can see all three of these knives are pretty similar, okay? His original Hiker, fantastic design, still is, always will be, just a great knife. The Bradford 3, though, I liked the less handle, more blade design to it, and I liked the blade shape a little better than the fatter belly that we have on this one. Um, still great, but for an EDC knife, I wanted more of this shape. So I contacted uh, Travis, and I gave him all the specs and dimensions on this. What I wanted him to do was tone it down as far as the thickness of the handle. As you can see on here when I set that, look at the thickness, the difference in the handles here. I mean, he nailed it. Little, just a smidge thinner blade. I want blade. I wanted the jimping put up better in a more functional, usable place. Um, more streamlined design for EDC in my pocket every day, and uh, still keep the right amount of blade and a smaller handle size. And he straight up nailed this. I mean, he nailed it out of the park. And um, I've been using this knife now. Like I said, I've I've been carrying it every single day. I've uh, I've processed two deer with this. You can see in it's 1095 steel, which is my favorite. I love 1095. Um, this is also a 1095 knife here. This is a uh, M390 knife here. Or I'm sorry, an M3 um, or 3V, M, M or 3, yeah, CMP 3V blade. Um, I have that in M390, which I do not like the M390. Um, and uh, But this knife just hit, hit it out of the park. He straight up nailed it. I mean, the detail on this thing is above and beyond quality on every kind of level here and he just he knocked it out of the park straight up knocked it out of the park slim line comfortable and when we put these in the sheaths now notice that he made the sheaths for this one for me okay right here let's get this one just out of the way that one i wear on a neck knife all my other ones are on a dangler okay they go in my pocket on a dangler like you see here too but now his sheath he does still the rivets well when i made this bradford in order to fit it in a pocket I ended up needing to, I went to my own pin design to thin that blade out, or that sheath out so it was better for EDC for carrying in your pocket. But let's look at that with how nice this, how well Travis did. So there's, look at them side by side. Let's lay them on top of each other actually. Okay, there's no, it's not any thicker. 
the, the sheath design, the knife. I mean, they're basically, actually, if anything, it's a little smaller, a little le more compact um, in shape. But, I mean, he nailed it. This thing is absolutely incredible on uh, every kind of level. And I, I straight up love it. I can't say enough good things about it. He just did an absolute phenomenal job. Like I said, look at that natural patina forming. This thing is processed to deer already. It is probably it's still sharp. Yeah, still, I could still shave with that if I wanted to. Um, and when I, when I say process, I mean it gutted one out. And then the other one was uh, Josh Talker of uh, Before the Echo Killed a Deer. And I went over and helped him uh, completely bone it out 100%. And we did it with that knife. And uh, like I said, just incredible. But you can see the, how that fits in your hand perfect size in your hand perfect comfort perfect everything about it is absolutely fantastic the blade detail as we look at this look at that thickness on that scales i mean nice thin compact i mean when you compare those to this one here we put them side by side look at that handle thickness there what a difference in that just much easier to carry in the pocket blades length from back of handle grip to there, I mean, you're talking almost identical. The grips go up a little farther on his, but it's still blade size there when we line up the, the blade sizes on it. Like I said, he straight up nailed it. I can't say enough good things about it. This knife is, is by far my favorite knife I own today is this one right here. This is called the Minuteman by Travis Styles. And like I said, you're looking at a... Uh, um, 10, this is 1095. He'll make it in 01, A2, anything you want it to. I'm a huge fan of 1095. He does his heat treats real good. But this is the ultimate EDC knife. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and show you how I use it as a dangler here in one second. But look at the lanyard setup. And again, sorry for seeing a little bit of red stuff on there. This, this knife works. It's been working here and, uh, you know, doing its job. But all right, let me go ahead and put that on and show you. All right, now here's two different versions of this and how I would wear this. Now, when I'm pressure washing, because I'm wearing nylon pants with no pockets in them, um, I can't carry it in a, on a pocket like that. So that's why we use his hiker model. I wear it right here on my neck inside my shirt. But if I need it, all I do is just grab that knife and I have his knife right here and ready to go. To put it back in, you just line it up feel it find it and stick it in it's all one-handed operation but i carry that on my neck here uh underneath my shirt but that way it's here if i need it and handy um so that's the way i carry that now on a dangler what we got here is here on my pocket see this string right here i hook my thumb on that string pulls the knife out of my pocket right into my hand and the knife comes out i'll do that again here for you but it just dangles on a loop from my belt right there i come in i hook my thumb on the string as I lift up, it pulls the knife right into my hand, and then I continue to pull, and the knife is out. It's that simple. Put it back in. I just find that slot right here like that, push it back in, drop it in my pocket. Very simple process. Hook it, bring it out. There it is. Pull it out, use it, put it back. Just find the, the you just take your knife and light it in, stick it in, drop it back in your pocket. Right there, out, goes back in. Very, very simple design, very functional. Um, I love that dangler design. I've been carrying a knife that way ever since the Azula came out, and I've been doing that now for about 12, 15 years. I love that setup. It's out of the way, and because that belt is, er, it's hanging from my belt, I don't have any of that weight in my pocket. All the weight is hanging on my belt, even though it's just dropped right there in my pocket. Quick need, there it is, right there. Sweet and simple. When I'm done, line it up, stick it there, put it in. It's as, as quick as a folder almost, and it works just very good, but it's a solid fixed blade. So, but that is that knife right here. We have that Travis Styles, just simply amazing Minuteman model. Okay, this is that again, this is his Minuteman is what he's calling it. And you can see perfect blade size. Uh, I don't have a tape measure to tell you. It's a little over, I think it's like three and a quarter inch blade, three and a little more than three and a quarter inch blade. Perfect handle size, fits perfect, usable. None of that extra crap hanging out of the bottom like like this when you're on a knife. We, we don't want any of that, okay? I mean, it gives you all the right dimensions 
for exactly what you're looking for in a perfect EDC knife, a hunting knife, a carry-all knife, a hiking knife, a do-everything-in-a-world type knife that's super lightweight in your pocket, very slim profile yet super functional. So uh, you're looking at eighth-inch blade stock, um, just fantastic. And again, this 1095. So uh, I will put the information for how to find Travis down below. It's on this video and down in the description to bo in the bottom. Notice, like I said, mine's already starting to form that real natural patina from being in the blood and things like that and it's just starting to look amazing um love this knife cannot say enough great things about it i i as a matter of fact i have travis building me another one when i got this and i used it for two weeks i called him up and said hey make me another one i do pay for these this is not free not none of this stuff is free i paid for this knife and i'm paying for the next one coming too i'm reviewing it because i love it and it's that good a quality so there you go hope you enjoyed this thanks bye